Alright everyone, what's up? This is Epo Dempsey Roll here, AK Rio, back from my little break. I had a tiny little break. And I'm here now with something a little different. As you can see, I have the instruction booklet for Ritsuka Saiki here. My very first waifu model. Here she is. Girl Pla. Let's say Girl Pla instead. Very fun model. I really enjoyed building it. And I really enjoy posing the model and taking pictures with it. Um, that's sort of like your victory lap. Once you've built a model is is just having fun posing it and taking some photos. And I'm not the best photographer in the world. In fact, I'm I'm kind of bad at it, but I have fun. I just have fun messing around. I'm just using my my a iPad actually just to take some photos. But it's fun to really just mess around with some things. Mess around with lighting. I have a three I have three lights here with this setup. And I also have this LED light bulb which I use to kind of get some different colors and different lights. Uh, for my lighting. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about a bit is just a little bit about how I go about taking my photos and maybe I can show you guys just a couple of photos that I took yesterday and I'm still working on it but I think it's pretty fun uh, what I have kind of going for me right now in terms of taking photos. So uh, the other day I had a trip to the dollar store, Dollarama if you're Canadian, and I picked up these things just designer craft paper this is uh this is 15 wood look sheets and they're basically just adhesive stickers and yeah you can just kind of mess around with them and let's take a look this is kind of how they look right it just sort of looks like a wooden plank or something right and they are stickers you can attach this to different things I think that might be cool to try out but yeah I've basically been setting these things up like this and these papers which you can, I'll just kind of flip through them real quickly these sheets just imagine that it's like wallpaper right or just kind of some kind of interesting backdrop this is a uh, golden stuff interesting patterns I've been using these and I've been playing around with these as kind of like backdrops for taking photos of uh, Ritsuka. So I can actually show you guys some examples of what I've done. Just give me a second because I'm such a noob <laughs> at doing this. I need to queue up the page and then I'm going to switch to capture, which is here. Control Shift 3. So I think that worked. Just give me a moment to double check that this indeed has worked. So yeah, okay, so this right here is an example of some of the photos that I've took using the backdrops and using uh, my LED light to kind of create something a little interesting with the photo. Uh, this is the Ritsuka model that I showed previously. These, these photos I took at night. Usually when I take photos, I like to do it in the, in the day so I can get some a window open and get some like ambient daylight to kind of help, help with the lighting. This was at night, so I had to purely rely on, on just basically two lights to do this. And so we have an LED light coming from the right side and just a normal light coming on from the right and I did a bit of photo editing just to kind of get the balancing right but again this is something I'd like to play around with more to try and get a better get more interesting photos right just trying different things and again this is this is just some simple stuff that I picked up at the at the dollar store the the backgrounds and this background here this uh, craft designer craft paper has foil metallic uh, printing on it, which has creates some cool, cool reflections. So pretty fun, pretty cool. And 
the hands that I'm using here, this is Ritsuka. This is not, um, these are not hands that come with Ritsuka straight out the box. This was a, a resin add-on kit that I bought, that I bought separately, uh, maybe a week or two ago. These intertwined hands, which I think is pretty cool. It kind of has a, looks like she's readying for action, readying for a fight or something. <laughs> okay, how do I move on to the next photo? This one here, uh, I this does not have an interesting background, but I did use um, an LED, sorry, yeah, LED colored lights to kind of create this blue look. Again, coming from the right and then the left is just regular. And yes, yeah, it's like she's taking a selfie, pretty fun. And I'm, I'm still kind of working on posing and kind of getting better at that. I'm mostly just relying on examples from the instruction manual to kind of get a better grasp on posing models, but I'm getting there and getting there. I want to kind of practice. It's something that it never really occurred to me when I kind of got into buying model kits and stuff was that I would have to practice at something like posing your model, but it's a real thing. It's true if you want to take photos and stuff. You gotta get you gotta get good at it. Get good. This is the same photo with a different kind of lighting s setup. And again, with the background here, this is a uh, some of the design paper. I think that's pretty cool. And again, this is just slightly edited in in Photoshop to kind of change the levels to make it a little more rosy overall. The shadowy areas, kind of trying to make it look a little more. Just get a bit more red in the shadows rather than like just straight black. I think it would have been just kind of like a very flat kind of black. And full posing the model too. Again, this is this is kind of like a pose that was the in, in the instruction manual. Um, but the manual was like ha makes they're just obviously they're professionals at it, so they can do a really good at posing. This isn't quite how it was in the manual, but. That was the closest I could get. And if you look at the floor there, I've used the the sticker the sticker pack that looks like wood to use as the floor. And I think that's pretty neat. I think it looks pretty cool. I think that yeah, it's just this is just something that you can really if you want to make your photos look a little more interesting than just having them against like a background, a white background, a black background, or just like amongst all your crap on your work desk, which I've definitely done as well. Y you can kind of get into doing stuff like this. Of course, it also won't, it's for specifically this sort of model, it kind of makes sense. It kind of feels appropriate. Maybe this wouldn't be uh, suitable for a Gundam, but maybe it would, I don't know. Maybe I'll try that next. <laughs> I'll put some, f I'll take some photos of, uh, of uh, grandpa against a flowery background. This one feels very Instagrammy to me. Again, playing with the with the levels to kind of get that vintage sepia kind of look to it. And yeah, that's a different background. It looks kind of similar, but it's a different background. That one right there. So let us go to break time screen. So that was just a quick example of some of the photos that I've been taking. And I have a couple more photos. I would, I, it's sort of like the fun aspect of, of building a model. I find at least is having fun with, uh, with taking photos and posing. And so I'd like to do that a bit more. And if you guys find that interesting, I can do a bit more of it. 